Hey guys, the humble Southpaw here with the Arctic Outdoor Road Trip Duffel Bag. Um, I know these are not firearms or considered EDC gear, but I've been on a quest right now, to, on a quest to find a good weekend duffel bag or weekend bag. And these guys have hit the mark. I was looking for something that was budget friendly, had adequate size, and also had quality construction. And these guys hit it out of the park. So just figure, you know, I haven't seen many reviews on them on the YouTube. And I said, you know what? They get great reviews on their website. But I thought, you know, let me go through and give you guys the specs and just give you an idea of what they are. And, you know, I definitely would give these guys a thumbs up. So what you're seeing here is the medium size, which is 44 liters, which is 21 and a half by 14 wide and then nine inches high. And then here's the large, which is 28 inches long, 17 inches wide and 12 inches high for 94 liters. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but 94 liters. They come in three colors, Storm. Uh, they also come in black and they come in Trailblazer, which is this tan color here. And honestly, guys, these are great. Um, just recently used this one to go on a weekend trip. Uh, put I could fit everything I needed to in here. I probably could have used a larger one and threw stuff that I had in other bags into this, but just wanted to keep them separately for it. And then initially I had bought this one. You know, I'm like, okay, I'd rather have a large one, I'd rather have the extra space than not the extra space. And then after I got this one, I realized eh, it's a little bit too big sometimes. So I went ahead and I purchased this one just in a different color. Um, so let me get these off, the, one of these off the table. I don't need the large one here. <clears throat> it does take up a lot of room. So this is a abrasive resistant nylon. I did call them the C, if it was a Kedora, Kedora, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, they didn't have that information. I did recommend that they could find out. They should post exactly because I know when we're looking at backpacks or everyday carry bags or concealed carry bags, we're looking at the durability and knowing what type of nylon that they're using would help us you know, other than the saying it's abrasive and it's durable. Um, it is water repellent, not waterproof. So it will handle light rain and things like that. But again, this is a weekend bag. I'm not looking to go, you know, bush, you know, out into the bush or out in the woods, you know, on the weekends hiking or anything like this. This is something, you know, going on a weekend trip or anything like that, or even camping. You know, you're going to go, you're going to throw this in your tent at a campsite. This will work great. Um, so that's the nice thing about that. Um, Right now, like I'm gonna tell you guys, and I'll go through here on the front, we have a zipper pouch, nicely lined. Zippers work very nicely. Um, this here, you can put in keys, wallet, you know, phone, whatever you need to stick in here, some cash. Um, just a nice extra little pouch there. And it also has a detachable shoulder strap with some nice padding and some nice traction to keep it on your shoulders. It is detachable. You know, the handles are very nice. Uh, it has, of course, you know, the, the handle with the Velcro to hold everything together. Very nicely made. Um, stitching is excellent. Quality, quality is great on these guys. Um, then it has a nice wide opening. <coughs> uh, they used their, their T handles that they use on their coolers as the poles. So, I mean, you can grab it with, with gloves, you can just pull them apart. Has a nice wide opening to get access to the bag and all that. So it's very nice. So guys, right now there are two standard size pillows in here just to keep the form of this. And I'm gonna go ahead and unzip it. And then at some point here, look, I think I caught the, one of the pillows and I did. Hopefully I can get this unhooked. Ah, yep, there we go. That part of doing videos here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these pillows out. 
don't mind me, I'm gonna throw them to the side, but it just gave you an idea of actually how big they are. Uh, inside is nicely lined, nicely stitched. Oh, another thing I forgot to tell you guys, it does have mole straps here, so you can attach things to it, which is a very nice feature. Um, and then in here on the top, you have a mesh pouch where you can, if you want, stick dirty laundry or whatever in here. So very nicely made, but again, nicely constructed, a um, lot of room. Like I said, I used this recently to go to, uh, for a weekend trip. Uh, I went down to PSA The Gathering, and I'll give you guys a video on that shortly, but definitely held everything I needed in here. Uh, it was a rainy, rainy weekend, so I needed to bring some extra clothes and all that, so it held us perfectly fine. Um, the only thing here, and somebody will say, I mean, this is not a bag. You can use it as a carry-on, but you definitely would not take either one of these bags as a travel bag through, you know, going through an airport or, you know, flying. One thing is they don't lock. There's not a... a anything to lock the handles with. And <clears throat> my opinion, I, I don't like using duffel bags when I'm traveling is because I rather have those soft shell, those shell, hard shell uh, luggage, you know, for protection. If you, you've seen the videos of how your luggage is handled going through the airports and all that. So, but these are great, you know, if you're going away for the weekend with your spouse, significant other, uh, whatever you're doing, doing road trips, you know, these are perfect, but definitely would not look to travel. You could use this one as a carry-on, you know, and my only concern was sometimes on a carry, you have a carry-on and all of a sudden they don't have the space and they make you check your bag in. So this might fit underneath. I, I don't have the exact measurements of what carry-ons on are for airlines, but it might fit depending on how stuffed you have this under the seat. So that would be my only concern, having this as a carry-on, and then they say, well, you gotta check your bag in. Now, it's not locked, it's very soft. If you have anything breakable in it, it's not going to protect it. But overall, for a great weekend bag, and like I said, for the price, it's an excellent construction. Uh, the stitching is excellent. Everything is about this bag is excellent, just like their coolers. I mean, everybody knows about their coolers. They get great reviews on YouTube and even on their their website. So check these guys out. Uh, they do make some other type of duffel bags. They do make a wheel duffel bag. And I'm not sure if that one is lockable or not, but it has the wheels and the handle and all that. Uh, it just wasn't what I was looking for. I might purchase one down the road, you know, if I need to, but definitely would look at them again. So guys, uh, give them a thumbs up. If you guys like this, please, uh, you know, Give me a thumbs up, like it, uh, share it. Uh, and if you want more information, you know, to see other things, please subscribe. All right, guys, be safe. The Humble Southpaw out.